What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the Jake Gagan Show. My name is Jake Gagan. I'm going to be the host today, guys. We have an exciting episode because we're going to be talking about the DC Cover Girls drop today and my thoughts on it. But before we get into it, guys, do me a favor and smash that like button if you're part of the Akomi team. If you are new to this channel, do me a favor and subscribe. Even if you've seen some of my videos before, subscribe to my YouTube channel and the Akomi family. Leave a comment within. Leave a comment, and I will get back to all comments within 24 hours, guys. But I have a bone to pick with the Akomi team, guys. I am not happy at all. I'm actually pissed off, and here is why. The team is too good. The Ecomi slash VV team is too good, guys. These drops, this ultra rare uh, Supergirl sold out in like 20 seconds. I didn't even have a chance. I got my coffee. I'm still drinking my coffee, guys, my nitro cold brew. I didn't even have a chance to get this. They are too good. People are in this. These NFTs are in high demand. And we don't have a chance. But in all serious, guys, congratulations to the Ecomi and VV team. And congratulations to everyone that got a Supergirl. These things were tough to get. I literally blinked and they sold out like that. Let me know in the comments. Did you guys get a Supergirl? Let me know what NFTs you got. But these Supergirls are sick. I did not get a Supergirl. But what I did get is a Mera. So Mera is also pretty sick. These were the rares. I got one of these, which I'm super excited about. She looks right in my vault. I also got a... Catwoman, which I think is epic. So once again, Vivi gets me to buy DC cover girls. I'm buying whatever they drop. It doesn't matter. I'm buying. You guys drop it. I'm buying. Congratulations on a successful drop. Let me know in the, in the comments, guys. What do you guys think of the drop? Was it a, a much better drop? Did you guys have any issues? I didn't run into any issues. I was able to purchase mine. Besides the fact that the Supergirl sold out in literally 20 seconds, um, I didn't have any issues. And like I said, they sold out 3,800. 3,800 of these super girls in like 20 seconds, guys. It was absolutely incredible, absolutely wild. Uh, the back girl, I didn't purchase one of these, but these things were sick. Like you can literally see her. She's taking a selfie, uh, which I think is pretty cool. And I'm going to show you a picture here in just a second of what this looks like in real life. But yeah, uh, shout out to the team, guys. They did a great, great, great job. But let me know in the comments. I mean, I might be biased because I love the team. What are your thoughts on these NFTs, guys? I love the DC cover girls. I love this one. I might go get it if this is still available. I haven't checked, but so far, the super girl. 20 seconds sold out. Congratulations to everybody that purchased a Supergirl. 3,800 at 90 bucks, guys. 3,800 at 90 bucks sold out in two seconds. The, the VV team is going to the moon, baby. Going to the moon. And shout out to our guy, the number one VV collector in the world. That is Johnny Dunn. Johnny Dunn got his 17th full set, guys. This guy literally has how many, Johnny? Let me know in the comments, Johnny. Johnny's got like 1,300, 1,400 NFTs, and he's not stopping. He's collecting his. I guarantee this guy's NFTs collection is going to make him a million dollars one day. So shout out to Johnny. Shout out to everybody that got full sets. I got two of the four. I'm happy with my Mira. I'm happy with my Catwoman. I think the Batgirl is super sick too, though. Shout out to the Batgirl. She is looking phenomenal. Look at this. Taking a selfie. We'll show you this in real life as well. Pretty cool stuff here, guys. Uh, I think that they're innovating, they're making it fun, and they're doing some very, very good things. So shout out to Ecomi and the VV team on a successful, successful drop. And here's the back roll in real life, guys. I mean, and uh, I'm pretty sure Trevor commented on this and he was like, hey, great job with getting the lighting. You can see the shadows in the background, how it matches. Uh, just a perfect job. Look, this looks real. Like if I was just watching this, this looks real. I can't believe that this is a picture. They're getting better and better. And I think that the hire with Trevor Dietz was a phenomenal hire. He actually came on the Jay Gagan show. If you have not seen that interview, I'm going to link it right here, guys. Go check out my interview with Trevor. It was a great interview. Shout out to Trevor for coming on the show. And then more real life pictures, guys. Here is the... Dun, dun, dun. From Blockchain Mac. Shout out to Blockchain Mac. This guy is day one Omi. He got, it looks like, all three. It looks like he didn't get the Supergirl, but he got the Catwoman, Mira, and the, forget the other name, but look at this, guys. He's got three going into his vault. Catwoman looks good. Didn't Halle Berry play her? I think Halle Berry played her in uh, Bat Batman. But anyways, the vault's looking phenomenal for Blockchain Mac. And someone did get the Supergirl. Who was this? I forget who it was. It's Dave Armenta. Shout out to Dave Armenta. He got the Supergirl. Looks like the Supergirl's walking through the hallway next to his puppy, looking real as ever. Look at the shadows on the wall. I mean, these are phenomenal, guys. The NFTs are getting better and better and better. And as I mentioned, guys, if you check out the interview that I did with Trevor, he's going to give us more details on what we can expect moving forward with the NFTs. And we're talking about interoperability, guys. You know, we just saw that we uh, 
partnered with Immutable, which is going to have no gas fees, energy efficient. We're going to be moving to the Ethereum blockchain, which is incredible. I'm going to be making a video about that. I want to make sure I have all the information to provide you, which is going to be big news. But guys, we're going to be having Jurassic Park dropping here pretty soon. We're going to be having Star Trek. We know the NFLPA is coming out. We have about 18 licenses that we've released so far, and we already know that we've secured over 100. There should be two new exchanges coming out very, very soon. It's May 27th. We have about four or five days left until we get those, but we're not going to be too hard on the team. They've been working hard. The market's crashed. They've been getting out these uh, NFTs to us, and they're looking phenomenal. So even if the exchanges come out in June, I won't be mad. Hopefully, it comes out on June 10th on my birthday. Your boy's turning 26, so make sure to send me a happy birthday wish on June 20, June 10th. Sorry, I'll be 26. But yeah, guys, two exchanges are going to be coming out very soon. A ton of different drops are coming out, and they just released that news that we are moving to the Ethereum blockchain off the GoChain network, which means that we might be seeing us on an Ethereum listing. Who knows? We already know that we're on Uniswap. Maybe we'll be on Coinbase, QCoin. Let's see what's coming out, guys. I don't know. I don't want to speculate, but we do understand that we will be moving to an exchange very, very soon. But if you guys are with me today, let me know in the comments. I mean, what are your thoughts on this drop? I thought that this was a phenomenal drop. I'm happy with the two that I got when I said I was pissed at the beginning. I am a little bit pissed because you guys are way too good. You guys are way too dedicated. You guys have way too fast of a Wi-Fi, not giving the rest of us a chance to get that ultra rare Supergirl who is incredible. Shout out to Dave Armenta for getting that ultra rare that we're seeing right here on twitter shout out to dave this thing is absolutely incredible yeah guys they crushed it again once again the vv team surpassing all expectations in my eyes with the supergirl i thought this was the best one so far i'm happy with my mirror i'm probably going to gift this to my mom give her her first nft the mirror is incredible um the Catwoman though is super sick and to be honest i don't even know i'm, I'm recording this at noon guys on the on the drop day which is my favorite day in the world. Every Thursday, I look forward to it. I don't even know if this is still available, but I almost want to just go back and get one of these, the Batgirl, because she's taking a selfie, and who doesn't like taking selfies? I'm going to take one right now. There we go. Anyways, guys, phenomenal drop from the team. I'm super excited about it. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of the drop? And shout out to Johnny Dunn. 17 full sets. Hey, save the rest for some, save some, of, some, some for the rest of us. That's the saying. Johnny Dunn. Shout out to Johnny Dunn, guys. And we have some big news, guys. Obviously, some major exchanges coming out soon. My goal for the month of June or July is to get Reese on the Jake Gagan show. We had a successful interview with Trevor. Over 550 people on there. Hopefully, we can get Reese on there to address you guys that follow me and subscribe. I love each and every one of you guys. You guys are phenomenal. Have been supporting from day one. And we are not stopping. Guys, I dropped an Ecomi video the other day on why I'm bullish about Ecomi. And I'll link that right here because I am bullish on this project. As I mentioned before, this is a long-term hold for me. I'm going to be holding these these uh, these tokens for at least two years. And what is it? Like 345 more days before even thinking about selling. Before even thinking about selling, guys. This is a long-term hold. I'm stacking up more. Obviously, the price correction was a little bit scary for a lot of us, but I do believe that we are bullish on this project long term. I'm very bullish on this project long term. I think that it it, it is the the leader in the NFT space. There's no other company that's doing it. We saw some quid beef, guys. We got to be nice to quid. Whoever's running that account, we were being you know a little bit. <laughs> some people were being pretty mean, but look, quid's doing their best job. They responded with positivity, and I think that there's enough for uh, all of us to coexist in this space and all win together. You know, I like to preach positivity. Uh, this is a new market. There's a lot of space. There's going to be a lot of different NFT projects, collectibles, and people will tear us down, but we have to respond with positivity because that is what we do. When people try to tear you down, you rise above, you respond with positivity, and that is true in life and in the quid space. But not to drop any motivational knowledge on you guys, but that's just my thoughts today. So if you guys have not yet, follow me on Twitter at Jake Gagan. I'm more active on Twitter. Same as my name, at Jake Gagan. Would love to interact with you guys there. If you're part of the Akomi family and you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. Smash that like button, guys, to spread this with more of the Akomi fam. And then do me a favor, guys. Leave a comment. I get back to all comments within 24 hours. You have to understand where we're at in this project, guys. We are just getting started. We are at the forefront of the NFT space. We are at the forefront of the VV Collectible app. We are at the forefront of what the Akomi team is going to do. And I am bullish that great things are coming for all of us. So as I said, guys, do me a favor. Smash that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a comment below, turn on those notifications, and follow me on Twitter at Jake Gagan. I'm more active on there, tweeting all day long. Would love to see you guys on there. It's your boy Jake Gagan, the unofficial king of Omi, out. We will see each and every one of you guys 
on the moon. VV Collectible to the moon. Here we go, baby. <laughs> 